Welcome back to another episode of BSPN. And in today's show, we are going to wrap up the Atlantic Coast and Ben Weeder, as well as touch on some of the facts over feelings, which is kind of an interesting topic that's been going around for the last, you know, couple of weeks here. So make sure you tune in and pay attention to that specific point for me. And in the meantime, while you're here, subscribe, like, comment, turn on notifications, and get this channel boosted up so we can provide you more amazing content for these ladies. Thanks so much. Um, if you would like to work with me, suitsandposing.com is where I have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing, all the fun stuff when it comes to competing. Um, you know I don't miss the feeds. You absolutely do not. It paid off for you, did it not? We will talk about you tonight. We will definitely be talking about you tonight. Um, also, our Black Friday sale. If you have not registered for that yet, what are you waiting for? It's free to register and that gives you access to um, the early bird access to the sale, which opens up in a day, less than a day at this point. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, the link is in our bio here. It's the very first link in our link tree. So click on that, just name an email that gets you on the list and then make sure you're checking your inboxes for our emails. Now our emails could potentially go into your spam or promotional folders. So make sure you're paying attention to that as well. Our Black Friday sale is the one where girls will stock up on whatever it is that they need for the coming year. Um, and we do several different um, different things that are, are on sale for you. So like I said, we have some girls that are right now, you know, redeeming their stuff that they purchased last year and they got it at a huge discount. So let's go ahead and get into these this weekend shows. So like I said, we are gonna start with the Atlantic Coast Pro and then we'll move into the Ben Weeder after that. Um, so with the Atlantic Coast Pro, we had bikini there. Um, yes, that's my gen. Yes, that is, that's right. Um, and we're gonna do our top five here in bikini. Um, Alessia Fashim did win this. Um, we are gonna start with fifth and work our way up to her. All right, so fifth was Danielle Combs and Danielle has competed a few times this year. Um, her first show, I believe her pro debut was Tampa. And I think she placed sixth there, sixth or seventh there. Um, she's had a very good start to her pro career and she has a phenomenal frame and look. Um, overall, she just needs to be a little bit leaner. She has a little bit of a thicker skin, so she needs to come in just a touch leaner in order to really make her her, her whole shape pop a little bit more. Um, but she really, like, I mean, her shape is, is, is phenomenal. If she could get that conditioning level just a touch tighter, just a little bit, then her whole body is gonna pop just a whole lot more because really that's the only thing that I see that she needs to, needs to work on. She has a pretty complete physique. She just needs to get a little bit tighter so she can really pop herself a little bit more. Um, I would like to see her, I think if she can get that conditioning down, I think she's gonna win a show very soon. Um, you know, she's kind of sitting at the bottom of those, the fifth place positions each time that she's getting on stage and it just needs to come in just a touch tighter, uh, just so that she, again, so her whole frame can pop a little bit better. Um, but this was a really good look for her again. I haven't seen her off, really. She just needs to come in a touch tighter and she'll be, she'll be at the top of that list um, versus, you know, fifth, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, overall, really, really pretty look. Um, really, really balanced frame too. Like she's balanced from top to bottom, which is what I really love about her shape. Um, I'd say she's probably, of the top five, she's probably the best balanced in this group. She's probably the best balanced in this group. So I'd like to see her just get just a little bit tighter so we can really see her pop. Um, fourth place was Erin Stern. So Erin um, did a few things differently at this show. She put on a light purple suit, which I'm personally not a fan of. Um, I think it's fine, I think it's okay. And I think if I'd never seen her pink one, I would be okay with the, with the purple one. But because I've seen her in the pink, I like her better in the pink. Um, I just think the pink color has a little bit more depth to it. It's a bright color, but it has a little bit more pigment, which works well with her, works well with her skin tone, works well with her, her uh, face, her hair, all of that. It just makes it, just makes herself pop a little bit more. Um, and also the, the back cut, the bottom cut on the back um, in the purple is a little bit more coverage than what she had in the pink. And the pink definitely flatters her in the back better than this purple. So I'd like to see her go back to the pink. Um, loved her much better in the pink, absolutely, me too. Um, and I think that that is where she kind of fell short here. Honestly, I think a lot of it had to do with her suit cut. I think her bottom suit cut, because it was a little bit bigger, it took away from some of the fullness and some of the roundness in her glutes. And that's actually something that Erin needed for coming out of the Olympia. Coming out of the Olympia, 
that was her critique. She needed to fill her glutes out. So I think she did actually fill herself out a little bit. I think she needs to fill herself out even more, but I think she needs to go back to that pink suit because I think it flattered her from the back a little bit better than this, than this purple one did. I think the purple one actually kind of flattened her glutes a little on her. So, um, you know, I would come back on stage and come back with the, with the pink. Uh, I think it's just much, a much more flattering look for her. Um, love Aaron in the pink better also. Yeah, agree, agree. You know, and it's, again, I don't think this, this purple one is bad on her. Just because I've seen her in the pink, I know the pink's better. You know what I mean? And honestly, that's the thing that's kind of holding her back. She needs that fullness in her glutes to pop her. And I think that the suit took away. Uh, so yeah, so with Erin, little things. She just needs to fill those glutes back out and she needs to go back to the pink. Um, I'd also like to see her get her tan a little bit darker. Uh, this is something I've critiqued her on before. Her tan's just always been just a touch too light. And with that, we don't get the full look of her pop of her muscle. I think it's actually washing her out a little bit because she's too light on her tan. So I'd like to see her try to get another, you know, shade or two darker. I think that would help her pop her physique as well. So that's my my two cents on Erin. Um, and then we're going to move up to Masa, who came in third. This is Masa's first show in almost two years at this point, I think. Maybe maybe over two. No, almost two years. I think it's like a year and a half, something like that. Anyway, it's been a while. Um, she did well. Now... There's some things I'd like to see her do better. Um, again, this has been a while since she's been on stage, so it takes a little bit of getting used to once you're back on stage. Um, her shoulders were striated, so she needs to fill out. In general, she needs to fill out. Even her, her glutes and everything need to fill out a little bit more. Um, but her shoulders were striated, so I'd like to see some more roundness in her shoulder. Um, that was what I noticed from the front. And from the back, her back pose stance is too wide. It's too wide in the feet. Now, I have a feeling I know why she did this. Um, her critiques last year when she was competing was that her glutes overpowered the rest of her physique. So I feel like she probably came in a little bit flat um, just so that she didn't fill those glutes out completely uh, and get that same critique. And I think she also posed like this to try to pose the glutes down a little bit. Uh, and I just think it was just too much. I think if she uh, brought the back pose in a little bit, that would actually help those glutes round out a little bit, pop a little bit more. Um, she was not overpowering her glutes at this show at all by any stretch of the imagination. So um, I think she just went a little bit overboard with compensating for her previous feedback, if that makes sense. So I'd like to see her come back in with a little bit more fullness to her, um, specifically in her glutes and in her shoulders, and then bring that back post stance in a little bit, um, you know, like an inch or so. I think that would flatter her frame a little bit better. Um, and also one thing that really bothered me on this particular, um, presentation was her hair. Her hair was crinkly. So, um, she just needs to get in there and really straighten that a little bit better. So, um, I think she has natural curls, so it looks like she just tried to straighten it. It didn't get completely flat. So for me seeing it a little bit messy, not the best look in the world, makes it look a little damaged when you do that. So she just needs to get maybe, maybe a professional blowout or something like that going into the show, just so it's nice and smooth and healthy looking. Um, but those would be my critiques for her. I think she needs to, I think she's just a little bit too hard. She needs to fill out. Um, so we don't see those striations in her shoulders. Uh, and so we can get those glutes to pop out a little bit more. But again, I think she did this on purpose. I think that this was a strategy because of what she's gotten as feedback from last year where her glutes were overpowering is what they told her. So I get why she would do it. Um, she just needs to go, needs to kind of split the difference, you know, not go all the way back to where she was last year, uh, but not quite as far as she's gone this year. So right down the middle and then she'd be, she'd be good. But uh, regardless, I mean, coming in uh, after being off for, I don't know, almost two years, um, that's a good placement to come in after that, that kind of break, you know? Um, so just little things, again, mostly presentation stuff and just filling out a little bit more on the physique. Um, and then we go up to second place, which was Jessica Dolius, which this was probably the best I've seen Jessica look all year. Um, she was nice and full and round in the glutes. Uh, front pose was right on. Um, this was something that I had critiqued her on in the past. We talked about this at her last show, um, that she switched sides on her front pose. Looks so much better. Looks really, really good from the front. Um, I feel like that front pose is like right there. It's right on. Um, the only critique that I would give her, and this is just being me being nitpicky, is the hand that's on her waistline. I would bring it down a little bit. It's a little bit too far in. So I'd bring it back so I could see her belly button more. Um, but again, that's just me being nitpicky here. Um, so if she could do that, I think that would put it 
put that a little, make that look a little bit more relaxed for her. Whenever you got that hand up and in too much, it looks like it's not relaxed, if that makes sense. So it's just a just a touch. Just bring it down like an inch and out, just just a little. Because we can see her belly button, but I just want it, I don't, I don't know, I think it's, it's close. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, the front pose looks, looks right on. And again, that's just me being nitpicky. Um, and then when you turn her to the back, you know, one of the things that I've given critiques on her before is that her waistline isn't super small in the back. Um, so when she's in her back pose, sometimes it can come off like she's thick, um, meaning like she's really straight up and down, right? Well, she did a couple things differently at this show that really helped with that. A, more hair. So her hair, um, looks like she put some extensions in and she got a little bit of length on there, which definitely lended to her, um, overall balance and like X frame in the back way better. Um, and this is probably the fullest I've seen her glutes look which again made her lower back look smaller, uh, which is important. You need to have that X frame from the back as well. So whatever she did going into the show, she filled those glutes out just enough. She was nice and full and round, but she was tight everywhere too. So this was definitely an improved look for her. Um, and this was probably, like I said, this is probably the best I've seen her period, um, you know, specifically from the back. And then the front pose, she had it pretty, pretty, pretty bang on the front pose for last show. But this was a big, a big improvement on the back pose for her. Um, really, really good look here. So she's like that close to getting Olympia qualification at this point. Um, my critiques are still the same. I would still like to see some more glutes on her. Um, and I think that would push her up and over the edge. So I'd like to see her pop those, like probably grow a little bit in the glutes and come in with this exact kind of fullness, this exact kind of pose. Um, and then she'd be good to go. Um... And then Alessia won this show. So again, this is one where this is the best I've seen Alessia look in a very, very long time. Um, she was nice and full. Uh, one of the things that I critique her on all the time is her makeup and her makeup was great here. Her hair was great here too, looked nice and healthy. All of those things make a difference. Um, and then also her front pose, she finally relaxed that front arm and her shoulder rounded out and she pulled up so we don't see those skin rolls in the back. If you guys have been on my my um, live feeds before, you know that that's something that I've critiqued her on and she fixed all of those things here in this. I'm finally happy with her front post. <laughs> you know, I've said this over the last however many shows it's been that she's been on stage that I felt like she wasn't quite hitting that front pose correctly. She hit it correctly here. She was pulled up and again, when you look at her front pose, you see that nice V that goes into her lower back and no skin folds there. That's something that my eye always goes to um, and she fixed it here. So really good job with that. Um, and then also from the back, from the back, she was nice and full. Now she typically is, she typically is nice and full from the back. She can be a little bit too hard sometimes, um, but in this scenario, she was not. In this scenario, she was nice and full and round. Um, this, again, was probably the best look I've seen on her in a long time. She has some nice pop on the top of her glutes and through the middle as well, nice and round. She's not flat. Like She has a tendency sometimes to come in a little bit too hard so she doesn't have that 3D pop to her glutes. She has it here. This was a very, very good look for her. And again, it was probably the best I've seen her look in a very long time. So yeah, um, she definitely uh, deserved this win for sure. And like I said, those little polish details that she sometimes misses, like the makeup and the hair and that front pose pulling up, she hit all of them at this show. So she did a really good job here. Um, then we're going to move over to Ben Weeder. So I have a few things I want to discuss about this particular show. Um, first thing I want to discuss is fitness. Um, one of the girls that we helped is uh, Andrea. She came in third in fitness. Um, and again, Ben Weeder is a natural tested show. Um, and I think where you really saw this come to fruition in this particular show is in fitness. For those of you that don't know, the way that fitness works in the pro league is that there is a routine round and there is a physique round. Okay, Your routine round is two thirds of your score and your physique round is one third of your score. Now, in order to win your pro card in fitness, you don't have to do a physique round. So for example, Andrea did not have to do quarter turns until she actually got to the pro league. She got to the pro league on her routine, not her physique. That is now the standard in fitness. So what you see a lot of times is you'll see these girls that are coming in now that are newer pros in the, uh, in the fitness division, kicking ass in the routines and then falling short in the physique round. Um, because this show is a natural tested show, 
you see the girls that showed up all had comparable physiques. So that leveled the playing field for them. And I feel like this is probably the look that we're going to see of fitness in probably the next five years or so. And the reason I say that is again, because in order for them to go pro, they don't have to do a physique round anymore. They just have to do a routine round. So I think over the next five years, we're gonna see a shift in the overall look of the, of the fitness competitors in general. We're gonna see them look more, like to be honest with you, the physiques looked more like a NPC kind of figure physique is what they look like versus what you're seeing on the Olympia stage in fitness right now, right? And I think that's the direction that fitness will end up going just because of the way that they're rewarding pro cards now, right? Can you touch on natural versus using building four? I'm not gonna go into all that tonight. <laughs> And she went quickly as the amateur, right? And you know, and again, you know, Andrea, her last couple of shows that she's done, she's done very, very well in the routine round, right? But in the physique round is where she fell fell short. So, you know, this is probably the case for most of these girls that are on this list. Um, I don't know any of the other, any of the other ones. So we're gonna see that. I think we're gonna see this shift happen over the next few years in fitness specifically because, again, because of the way that they're actually rewarding um, pro cards, right? Um, so, uh, with that, that was really, really good to see. And again, I'm looking forward to seeing this happen more because I think that this is the one thing that's actually going to save that division. That division was, was dying really, really fast because it's very difficult. As you guys know that have competed before, it's hard enough to do a basic bikini routine when you're depleted, let alone a full fitness routine, right? These girls are gymnasts. They're athletic. They need to have some body fat on them so they can actually do these routines, right? Um, so anyway, so going into um, the next division that we're going to talk about, that's bikini, and then we're going to end out um, with wellness. Um, there was figure as well, and I did, um, I did follow figure a little bit. Felicia Harris won that one uh, but it was only seven competitors. It was relatively small. I'll put some uh, some video up because I did take video at finals. I missed I missed prejudging because I was still busy doing hair and makeup. I did hair and makeup all day that day from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So I did miss um, prejudging for figure. So I don't have a whole lot to say about the figure division other than Felicia Harris did win it. So she is Olympia qualified as well. Um, she also went pro before having a baby. I'm so happy I told her to get the suit. Yes. Cannot even imagine throwing a tumbling pass depleted. Right, exactly. They would get a standing back handspring. Right, exactly right. It's very difficult. It's a very difficult division. And again, that's why it was that's why it was dying, because it is so hard on the body, especially when you're that depleted, right? So anyway, that's my two cents in the fitness division there. Um, so going into bikini, so we're gonna start off with fifth and work our way up. And I know I pulled this. Where is she at? Hold on. There she is. Um, let me pull these pictures up. Hang on a second. So Melanie took fifth. Um, this girl had a really great shape. Uh, she's a little thin though. She's a little thin. So she needs to put on a little bit of size, but she has a fantastic shape. Um, hello, they get an aerial out of me and I'd be gone. There you go. <laughs> um, so she just needs to put on a little bit more size, um, in order to be competitive and I'm trying, uh, in, in higher shows and things like that. Let me see. I'm pulling up her. Uh, back shots now. Give me just a second here. Um, yeah, she's just a little bit soft from the back, um, which is fine for her frame because again, she's a little, she's a little bit on the smaller side. So had she come in any tighter than this, then she probably would have lost um, all of her size in the back, that kind of thing. So really good frame to start with though. She just needs to put on another layer of muscle basically is what she needs to do, but she has a really great X frame. Jennifer, this is something we were talking about with the whole shape monsters thing. She has a great shape. This is, these are the girls, the, the girls that, were in, that are in these first call outs have amazing shapes, right? Um, and let's see, we're gonna go to Denitra. So um, Denitra looked phenomenal. This is the best uh, Denitra has looked. She does need to come in a little tighter. She's one that needs to come in a little, a little bit tighter as well. I know she's planning on doing um, Texas in like a week or two, something like that. So she needs to be a little bit tighter in order to get up into the top three spots, that kind of thing. But fourth is a fantastic finish for her here. Um, shape has improved dramatically since like last year. 
Um, for her to really show her shape in her front pose, she needs to come in. She needs to come in a little bit tighter. That's gonna make her waistline pull in a little bit more like we talked about before. And we're gonna go into this with Jennifer too a little bit later. Um, we need, you, you need to have that, that shape, that shape, that X frame, that huge X frame, right? So um, that's what she needs. If she can come in a little bit tighter, that's gonna help her pull that shape out of her a little bit more uh, specifically in that front pose. Um, that will also help her glutes pop a little bit better in the back pose as well, right? Um, but overall, really great look for her here. Just needs to be a little bit tighter. Just needs to be a little bit tighter. That's it. Um, and speaking of a little bit tighter, we're going to go to Adair. I think that's, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, who took third. She was too tight. She was very lean. So, you know, watching prejudging, they were having a hard time determining between the top three. They moved them around a lot. Um, I think Adair actually had probably a superior physique, but she was just too hard. She was just too lean. Um, I, if she had filled out and come in a couple of pounds heavier, she probably would have won this show. Um, her shape, I think overall, was the better of the top three, but she was too hard and they can't reward that. They can't reward too hard on stage, right? Um, phenomenal back shot. I mean, phenomenal back shot, but again, too hard. Just needs to fill that, fill that frame back out. Um, and then also something that was just a little, that bothered me a little bit was her makeup was just really light. Her body was really dark, which I thought was good, but her makeup was a little light, but that just, that was just one little thing. Um, I'd like to see her makeup a little bit darker on her. Um, but yeah, if she comes in a little bit, a little bit fuller, then I think she could have won this show, honestly, if she, if she'd come in a little bit fuller. Um, she's just a little too lean. Um, moving up to second, and I think it was, I don't, I didn't see the scorecards, but if I had to guess, I would say that, um, Callista who came in second and Adair who came in third were probably within one or two points of each other. Um, because they were very, very close to their actual frames and things like that. Um, Callista, again, this is probably the best I've seen Callista look. Um, I'd like to see her tan a little bit darker. Now, I also know that Callista's retiring, so she says anyway. People always say they're retiring and then they come back. So she says she's retiring. <laughs> <laughs> I know she wants to have babies and things like that, so that's what she's looking to do. Um, but uh, I, I, I would like to see her. She's another one that, like I mentioned with uh, with Aaron, Aaron's a little bit too light. Callista's also a little bit too light here, and I think that doesn't do her uh, do her body justice. Also, I think it made her look washed out with the green suit. Um, she always has a tendency to wear these darker darker colors, and I'd like to see her in a brighter pop, like a brighter blue, something like that, and get pop on her a little bit better. Um, she has a phenomenal shape, um, but again, she needs to be a little bit darker. Um, her back pose, she actually fixed it a bit. I'd still like to see it tweaked a little. Um, she definitely filled out her glutes, but I've been critical of her back pose in the past because she pushes too hard and that flattens her glutes. Um, she definitely stood up more here, which was good. I think she can still stand up even more. She has an incredible arch in her back, like sway back kind of thing. So I think she could stand up even more. And I'd also like to see her add a little bit more volume to her hair to cover her back. She has a tendency, she's got the, her lats in the back that kind of crunch in and it's really distracting. So I'd like to see some more fullness to her hair just to cover that because she's got such width in her back that she could cover that part of her back and still show, show her shoulders. And she would just look a lot uh, more balanced from the back and we wouldn't look straight at those lats in the back too. Um, but again, going back to, I think this overall was her best look that she's put on stage. Um, and she definitely posed that back pose a whole lot better, a whole lot better than what she's done in the past. So really, really good job there. Um, again, she says she's retiring, but we'll see. We'll see. She'll be back. Maybe she said, well, maybe after I have babies. I said, okay, that's, that's cool. That's fine. I'll take that as an answer. You'll be back. <laughs> you don't, you don't get this close to an Olympia qualification and not come back. That's all I have to say. And then um, we're going to go up to our winner, which was Shanice. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, Shanice. So to me, I felt like Shanice was a pretty clear winner at this particular show just because she had so much pop to her muscle. Um, with that, she was a little too soft. Um, if she was in a different show, she would have been penalized for being too soft here. She needs to come in a little bit tighter, specifically from the back. Um, beautiful overall look really stunning overall look one of those kinds of people that when you look at her you can't you, when you when she walks on stage you can't not look at her right she's got a stunning look um like phenomenal overall shape 
needs to pull up a little bit in her, in her front pose. She's crunched a little bit. I noticed that a lot. She crunched in her front pose quite a bit. Um, open up her shoulder a little bit more. And she just needs to be tighter. Um, she was clearly the winner here at this show. But what I would say is if she's going to move on and she's going to go and do other shows is that she does need to come in dry, uh, tighter. She needs to come in leaner. That, again, is going to pull her waistline in a little bit tighter. It's going to make her glutes pop a little bit more. She has phenomenal glutes. Don't get me wrong. She has phenomenal glutes. But the tie-in and all of that in her back pose needs to be a touch tighter. Needs to be a little bit crisper, right? Um, and then she would definitely um, be a threat, basically, in any show that she went into. Again, there's sometimes there's these girls who just walk on stage and just have this look, this it factor, and she's one of them. She's got that. So she just needs to come in a touch tighter there. Um, so with that, we're going to move over to wellness. Um, now, I'm not going to go through each one of these girls, but what I will say is that this was actually an improved look for Sunny, who did win it, um, versus what she put on stage in Texas. And I think it might just be uh, the way she posed, uh, the way she presented herself. Uh, the way that I uh, critiqued her in Texas was that she had like muscle on muscle on muscle and needed to shape her frame a little bit better. Uh, here, she toned that down a little bit. And I think it has to do with how she posed herself, specifically in her back pose. Um, her back pose, when I saw it at Texas, she just like, she had, she had muscle popping everywhere. She didn't have that here. She looks a lot more streamlined here, uh, which I thought was a great look for her. Uh, she pretty much won it hands down. Um, and I know there's been a lot of controversy about this whole situation. There's been post upon post upon post. So I'm gonna give you my two cents and then we're gonna leave it alone, right? Um, facts over feelings. We talked about this last week when we started this show. I have specific feelings about what a natural show should be. So do you. If my feelings are different from what you feel your feelings are, that doesn't mean either one of us is wrong. That's just how we feel. Bottom line is, is if you go into a natural show and you pee clean, you're not cheating. That's the facts, right? So regardless of how you feel about a particular person entering a particular show, the facts are if you don't test positive in a tested show, you're not cheating, you're not breaking the rules. That's the facts, okay? So I just wanna leave it at that. Um, I don't know who's on what and who's not on what. I don't know those things. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that I do, but will I, what I will say is if you don't pee positive, you're not cheating. That's the facts. Now, I personally can feel something different. I personally can have a line that I myself would draw and that I myself would adhere to in order to you know, enter a particular show like this, but that's how I feel that's not the facts, okay? So just always remember that, facts over feelings. And at the end of the day, if you're just gonna sit around and complain about one person, guess who's getting lost in the mix? You. What you wanna do with yourself and how you wanna improve and how you wanna present yourself is getting lost because you're taking your attention and your focus and putting it on somebody else versus on yourself. So at the end of the day, run your own race. Don't worry about anybody else. Put your line, draw your line in the sand and stick to it. That's it. You got to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning and that's what matters. Period. Okay. That's a statement for life. Okay. It absolutely is. Absolutely is. So guys, stop with all the chatter. Facts over feelings. That's it facts over feelings. All right. If you ever get, you know, caught up, go back to that facts over feelings. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there was a coach backstage going ham about it being unfair. I wanted to tell him to shut up and get over it. Exactly. And guys, at the end of the day, here's the thing. This is an Olympia qualifier. You have to be competitive at the Olympia. Okay. So Personally, like for example, women's physique, there was one competitor in women's physique. And I wouldn't want to have an Olympia qualification if I didn't beat anybody to get it because I'm going to get my ass handed to me when I go to the Olympia. You should welcome tough competition because you're going to be up against it. That's a t-shirt line. It absolutely is. Absolutely is. Facts over feelings. 100%. So at the end of the day, when you start getting upset about something, just go back to that. Just go back to that. 
and focus on you. Run your own race. I say this all the time. Run your own race. When you focus on somebody else, that's only taking away from you. That's only taking away from what you can accomplish. So let them run their race. You run yours, right? And also because we are here, Miss Jennifer Lynch, who is on our live feed right now, she did win the Masters overall. So she won her pro card here at this particular show. So did well and open as well, but won the overall in Masters, which it was not just one Masters. It was 35, 40, and 50 over, uh, over 40 and over 50. And she won the overall in all of them. So they all went against each other. And so she won, won the overall. And now it's an IFBB Pro. And with that, if you guys didn't know, if you win your pro card while you're wearing one of my suits, then you get a sponsorship for the lifetime of your career. So, Miss Jennifer got herself a Pro Performer Promise sponsorship. Woot woot, yes, all the congratulations. I love seeing all the congratulations come in. So, she looked phenomenal. Um, you know, feedback is what we were talking about earlier, Shape Monster right? That's, if you see some of the comments that we've been putting on all the, all the pictures and posts and stuff, it's shape monster, shape monster, shape monster, right? So when you get into the pro league, it's all about shape. Everybody can come in shape to the show, but it's about your actual shape of your body. So now Jennifer's uh, mission is mission shape monster. <laughs> the fuchsia flame is under the shape monster mission. <laughs> That's going to be me one day. Yes, I love it. Congratulations. She did that thing. Pro Flame. Yes. All of that. Suits on suits on suits. Yes. Oh my God, stop. I can't even think. You're welcome. Yes. So that was awesome. Um, it was a great way to end that show out for us. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, got feedback from Becky and everything. That's exactly what Becky said. She's like, conditioning was on. All of the things were on. Stage presence is on. Everything was on. Now, in order to be competitive in Pro League, got to go back to work and get some more shape going. So specifically, if you guys go look at her photos, and again, I'll put them up on uh, the video when we're done with some video with some of the video from the show. She needs to grow some upper back and shoulders and some glutes. Like what we were talking about with Jessica Dolius, how Jessica Dolius is kind of thicker through that, that, that uh, mid back in the back. Same thing here with Jennifer. Jennifer's just going to need to grow some glutes out in order to make her lower back look a little bit smaller. Same thing with her upper back and her shoulders so that she can be competitive in the pro league. Um, so great. Congratulations. You look great. Yes. Elmo Sh <laughs> Operation Shape Monster. Yes. I love it. Yes, Jen. Yes, absolutely. And welcome to the pro league. Absolutely. So, and for those of you that don't know, Jennifer actually just started competing this year. This is her first year, uh, competing period. Her first show was in April. <laughs> <laughs> this is her third show ever, <laughs> and she is now a pro. Um, so we uh, worked with worked with her from the very start, from the very first posing session. She's been working with us. So uh, she again is one of those people that when she started this, she dove right in. And if you all read my post, like. She was posing with us every week. She came to every single Sundays with Sean. She, uh, she's on my live feeds every single night like she is right now. She's on our live feeds every single night. Her coach is on here as well. Jared's on here as well. They're on here learning this stuff and really absorbing everything they possibly can. If there was a show in our area, Jennifer was there. And she was there not only to watch, but she was also there to support our fellow cutie competitors too, which was awesome. So that is somebody that dove in head first got obsessed about this and found the success from it. And that is all you have to do. And I know that sounds like a lot and it is, you've got to be obsessed with it. But she, because she was obsessed with it, she came out the other side, not even a year into this competitive thing with a pro card. Um, it's, which is incredible, incredible. All right, I'm missing a ton of comments here. So yes, she looks fabulous. Jeez, girl. Yeah. What good for her? Yes. She's definitely a great client. And if Y'all see her start, you'll be amazed, right? I knew she was a cutie as soon as I saw her suit and posing. Yes, best coach and friend. Yes, success takes hard work. Good for her. Absolutely. And like I said, she dove in and she absorbed everything. And for those of you coming to Cuties Conference the stage, she's going to be there too. We're going to have, I think, I think we're going to have seven or eight of our Pro Performer Promise winners at Cuties Conquering the Stage this year, which is going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait to see all of you guys there. So we just keep adding people on. And we got nationals in a couple of weeks. Maybe we'll add somebody else on there too. Who knows? You know, I'm like, damn, every single national show we're bringing home a pro card. I'm happy about this, man. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a good year. Uh, it's been a really good year for our cuties. Absolutely. <laughs> that walk though. Yes, absolutely. She's got that fire walk. Sure does. And that's something too. Again, going into this a little bit, we looked at everything with her going into the show because she came to our final Sundays with Sean last week 
and she was very lean, uh, striated through the glutes, stri like cuts through the quads and things like that. So took that feedback to her coach there, Jared, and he, he filled her out nice and full. Um, she came and saw me right before she went back for prejudging. Uh, we ran, ran her through her poses, made sure that she wasn't going to uh, cut up her quads and things like that when she walked. We changed her walk going into the show so that she kept her quads full and didn't split when she walked, things like that. You know, I sat there in the front row when she was in her front pose. I just gave her little motions and she knew what this meant. That meant to twist her hip. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, so, you know, she knew exactly what to do because she had worked so hard and she knew all of her cues and she knew how to adjust what she needed to adjust in order to present her physique the best she could that day. Um, that all came together and that's why she won, right? Um were you a dancer? Can't wait for CCTS. Yes, that start is still embarrassing, but I've learned to laugh and accept it. We all start somewhere in all areas of life. Let's go CCTS. Yes, yes. Thank you all. Seriously, yes. Makes you look good, mama cutie. All these pro cars, right? <laughs> Fresh for shoulder off, right? <laughs> Ballet my whole life. Dance for Beyonce, then real estate full time. Weird road. Well, damn. I didn't know about the Beyonce dancing. Well, shit. <laughs> I didn't know that. Hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> she loved her peak weight, filling her out all the carbs and water. Yes, absolutely. And it worked. It worked. That's what you needed to do, you know? And like like the Becky said, your conditioning was perfect, is what she said. Conditioning was perfect. So really good job there. Yes, it was a very long weekend. I'm still not fully recovered. I will be honest. Um, I Today, I just really kind of focused on training and, and kind of getting some emails and stuff like that caught up over the last couple of days. But I, I it was a long weekend. It was a long weekend great weekend but I was exhausted <laughs> like I said if you're not on our Black Friday sale list yet please do that uh, the link is in our bio here you can click on that and get on that now for free um, stack up on all the things you need for this coming year uh, let's see we have a Sunday's with Sean our last one of the year is going to be December 5th so if you're here and you want to go to that it'll be December 5th we've got nationals is our last show of the year um, so if anybody needs um, hair and makeup, we are booking for that as well. Uh, we've got a handful of girls doing that one down in Orlando. One more, one more trip to Orlando this year. <laughs> one more. Um, what else am I missing? YouTube channel, subscribe to that. Turn on notifications so you know when our videos go live over there. Like I said, I'm gonna put this together with some videos and stuff for you too. And I will actually do a full video on the on the NPC portion of these shows too, because there was the NPC portion of the Ben Weeder, also the NPC portion of Battle Royale. So. This weekend was actually like four shows in one, just so you guys know. <laughs> it was a very long weekend. It was four shows, you guys. It was a pro show, an amateur show, and the Ben Weeder. And then it was Battle Royale, and it was Armed Forces. It was four shows this weekend, you guys. Four. It was, it was crazy. Crazy. All right, you guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you back here on Wednesday night. Go subscribe to our YouTube. Have a good night, you guys. And that'll do it for this episode of BSPN. Again, make sure that you turn on those notifications when you subscribe, like, and comment below. Really appreciate all of your support on this because the more eyeballs we get, the more content I can bring to you. So thank you so much again. Until next time, BSPN, we're out.